Good morning, YouTube. Sorry, my video was frozen at the beginning. As usual, it is 6.01 a.m. on the second morning of Bandcamp. So I decided to do my Bandcamp face for you guys. Also, I wanted to show you guys my nails. I don't think you guys have seen them yet. These are my nails, and I painted them on Sunday night, and it's Tuesday, and I literally have no chips whatsoever. I did mess up one nail because I was sleeping, and I like kind of put a dent in it towards the bottom. I don't know if y'all can see that, like a little dent in it. But... It hasn't chipped. This nail polish almost acts like a gel nail polish, in my opinion. Like, it's so good. And it was only $1.99. And it is one of the Wet n Wild Mega Last Salon Nail Colors. And you can see it's very true to color. What you get in the bottle is exactly what you get on your nails. And I am wearing the shade On a Trip. On Voyage in French, I think. But yeah, on a trip, it's a beautiful purple color. I just think it's so pretty. And I saw this and I was just like, I want that on my nails for band camp week one. So I'm going to try and do my nails every Sunday and have a different color every week. Um, just because it's a way for me to kind of, you know, have some me time and do something I like doing. Because I do enjoy doing my nails. So as you can see, I also cut my nails off. So they are not going above the tip of my finger. It's banned. I can't have long nails during band season because they'll just get broken. But this is going to be my band makeup tutorial. I've got my water. You know, you should hydrate before you go outside. You should drink um, basically about eight ounces every hour. So I've been up since five. Let's get started. So the first thing I do, face is clean and moisturized. The first thing I like to do is use sunscreen as my primer and the one I'm going to use is the banana boat sport performance active max protection SPF broad spectrum 100 it's water resistant protects from 99% of burning rays and it won't run into your eyes you can swim splash and sport this is what it looks like SPF 100 and I always like to shake it up just because, I don't know, I just think you should shake it. Even though you probably don't need to. And I squeeze out just a little bit because, you know, sunscreen goes a long way. Stuff is very creamy. Which, it's almost full. There we go. So I have that much, you can see. And I'm just going to... Dab this all over, and I'm going to set up a mirror. And yeah, my forehead is naturally shiny, so you can't even see the spot. But I have a spot with sunscreen right there. You see that little bit went a very, very long way. And then you got to rub it in. And for me, I like to really focus where I have dark marks. Which is on my cheeks, on the chin, and right next to like my ears. On the sides of my face. Now you just want to rub this all in. I feel like I actually need a little bit more. I'm very generous with my um, SPF. I'm just going to kind of dab some. Like a little bit really does go a long way. I just need more. I'm also going to go ahead and apply this to my neck while I'm here. So I'm going to take some more. Another quite large amount. And I'm just going to apply this to my neck as well while we're here. Bring it up onto the face. And I have to rebraid my hair every night, so I'll show you guys. I did a different part design this time. I did a zigzag. 
to like the middle of my head and then I just went straight back but it's still the same two braid hairstyle well first I had twists but the twists don't stay as well so I did two braids and I braided these ones pretty tight because you see there's no really poof up here this time today so just you know keeping it real simple you know something I can put a hat on off of and at the end of the day when I unbraid it it looks really pretty so now my face is all smooth and moisturized and protected. We can now move on to foundation. And the foundation I've been wearing for Bandcamp, which worked perfectly, which I tested out when I did laundry on Sunday, is the Becca Shine Proof Ever Matte. Ever Matte Shine Proof Foundation. And I'm wearing the shade Sandalwood. I feel like this is perfect for the summer. I think this it might be the foundation I wear only if I know I'm going to be outside sweating my butt off. Because it looks great. It doesn't budge. It doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't run. It doesn't drip onto your clothes. This stuff is A1. It's amazing. So, I like to... Um, Kind of dab this onto the spots that need the most coverage. On the areas where I want the most coverage so I don't over apply any foundation. And I'm going to do half my face at a time because this does dry rather quick. So basically the places that really need it. And then we're going to blend it out and into the skin and I like to use a fluffy brush to do so and my favorite one for this has been the BH Cosmetics 114 and I'm kind of dabbing but a little bit does go a long way with this foundation as well and I put it right over top of the sunscreen and I had no issues, no problems. Also, wearing foundation is another barrier from the sun in addition to the sunscreen that's underneath it. So, I feel like my skin is extra protected, which is probably why my face is lighter than the rest of my body anyways. And at first it's going to give off a very white cast because this foundation has something in it that makes it look terrible for the first like 30 minutes. Like it looks really ashy. But after that it looks great. And it works with flash photography after 30 minutes. So you see how that... And this is a medium coverage, not a full coverage. But you see that even at my skin. I can still see my imperfections through a little bit. That's fine. We don't need to be super duper flawless. The reason I even wear makeup to band camp is so that I don't look like a child. Like I don't want to be mistaken for one of the children. Which they're not even really children. They're really young adults. Like they're almost, they're in high school. My youngest student is 13 this year. So I'm 10 years older than my youngest student. We were talking about that yesterday. I was like, ah. It makes me feel old. I'm 10 years older than you. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. And so I'm going to do the same thing. Which I have my birthmark right here. So I'm going to put some dots on that. Kind of just going over my spots. I feel like I've said that a thousand times. And the places I want coverage. Like my lip is darker. Around the mouth. The chin area. I'm like hitting my face so that it will come out. It's a squeezy too, but I don't want to like over squeeze, you know. Do 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 do. Okay. And under the eye. Even though I don't feel like I really have like dark circles or anything, I do get under eye bags when I'm tired. And I'm definitely tired after the first day. So I fell asleep like almost instantaneously when I got in the bed. And I'm going to do the same.
padding thing and just taking whatever extra over here. You see how ashy it looks and like really light. It's something in here. What does it happen here that makes it mad? A unique spherical polymer. Did I shake this foundation? I don't think I shook it today. You're supposed to shake it. I accidentally probably forgot. I think I didn't. It'll be fine though. And I just brush lightly over my eyes. Or my eyelids, I should say. And just like the other side needed a little bit more, I'm going to add a little bit more to this side. And I'll shake it this time. Just going to add a little bit more on the perimeter. But yeah, I need to leave earlier today because I need to go by my university to print out some figuring charts because I have a lot of people playing, well, I have two people playing secondary instruments. They're normally bassoon players, but they're playing tenor sax for marching band season because we do not march bassoon. Nobody marches a bassoon. Like, bassoon is not a marching band instrument. So, yeah. So, you know, they, you know, need a figuring chart sometimes to, you know, be able to be more self sufficient and figure things out on their own. So, I told everybody, I'm going to give y'all one fingering chart. And after that, you guys should go on the internet and screenshot some fingering charts so you can keep it in your phone. You know, and then you can look at it when you need to, which we put all our phones on the table in the center of our setup. I was like, even my phone is there just so that they are not a distraction. And if something seriously happens, like you see that your grandma's calling and she knows you're at band camp, your phone's right there on the middle of the table and you can pick it up and walk out easily. Or you can leave it face down. I leave mine face up. It also helps build self-control with not wanting to like grab it and instantaneously look at it because you can't do that when you're in school. All right. So now we have the foundation all blown out. I'm going kind of in slow motion today. I did this makeup in 15 minutes yesterday that I'm going to put on today. And I wasn't even like trying to rush. Yesterday I decided to try out the air spun powder. And it works really, really well. It's just a little messy because the top and stuff. And I applied it using a damp beauty blender. Which my beauty blender isn't damp. But I'm going to do the same thing today because it worked really, really well. And I use cold water to dampen it so I can come back over to my little bench. I use cold water to dampen it. Dampen it. I just said little bench. I'm saying hopefully nobody thinks I said something else. Sorry I have to keep drinking water, but I got to stay hydrated so I don't die at man camp. All right, so this is the Cody Air Spun Powder. I showed you guys in my little Kmart haul. I have the color translucent extra coverage which is the color everyone suggests that you get and it has a sifter in the top but I like to pour some in the cap which is very messy it's just a very messy process I'm just shaking it into the cap all right and the color of it I don't know if y'all can see you can see it's basically kind of white or a light beige color. So I'm taking the dampened beauty blender, which has been dampened with cold water. I'm taking it into the powder. Hopefully, y'all can see that. 
And then I'm going to set under my eyes and my oily areas like I have concealer on, which I don't. Because y'all just saw me apply just foundation. So I'm going to apply it like I'm wearing concealer though. Up under my eyes. And right next to my nose. And I need more already. We're gonna apply it like I'm baking, which I look super duper scary. Also applying it around my upper lip area, kind of the places you want to brighten and then where I get most oily like the sides of my nose I'm really making sure that I apply powder there and I do the tip of my nose or the center rather not the tip I need to put some more in here it just kind of all flies everywhere because it is a loose powder, so it's a little messy, but it works really, really well. So the center of my nose, yeah, I look real crazy, but let me tell you, this powder works great. I'm also going to do my eyelids while we're here just a little bit, and then I knock it all off with a skin tone powder. So that's what I did yesterday, and I'm going to use the same powder I used yesterday, but I want to uh, experiment with another one. But I'm using somebody's yesterday for this video because I know that it works and it keeps everything looking right. Putting a little bit more in the lid. There we go. That's a good amount. And going under my eyes one more time. There we go. Really. Laying it on. And then we're going to do the forehead. Because I get oily on my forehead. I also have crease in my forehead. And going over my brows some as well. So now that we look crazy, which is just how I looked yesterday, I was like, I don't know how this is going to work. You know, I was all skeptical, but. And if you want to do this area a little bit, I'm just going to use whatever little bits left on here. I'm not going to add any more powder because it will literally make it look like you contoured. Okay, so. And with whatever's left over, I gently just put it back in the sifter part of the lid, which is very messy. I cannot stress that enough. And then I try to take whatever's like on the very edges. And I try and apply it somewhere. I'll just keep going under my eyes. Ah, I look so scary. But yeah. The only thing I don't like about this is super messy, but it works great. So now we don't need to let it sit any longer. Like it's it's done. I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Powder. This is the Matte Finish Press Powder in the shade 255, which is the darkest shade, I think. It was the darkest shade when it first came out. This is the same one I've had since it first came out. Now I'm going to take this NYX Multi-Purpose Fluffy Brush. It's nice and big, you know, for powder. And I'm going to use this darker powder to blend all this away. So I'm just going to sweep and swirl into this one, which is nice and brown, like I am brown. <laughs> and then you just go over. it. 
and you will look a little bit ashy at first but your makeup will last all day through intense temperatures through extreme sweat through it all and I'm doing a combination of like sweeping, pressing, swirling, swiping, all of it. But once you feel like you've knocked off all the... Let's just go up my nose. All of the lighter powder. <laughs> I think I just want my nails. Go ahead and start to press, especially around like the perimeters, so that it blend seamlessly so I'm just going to press around my forehead area I'm pressing on the cheekbones pressing over top of it which you don't even need to set this foundation but I don't know I just felt like doing it out of I'm a creature of habit when it comes to my makeup That's my eye. I was like, what's on my eye? And it also adds just a little bit more coverage. But basically, you just highlighted your face and set your foundation in place for eternity by baking like how I just did. And on camera, it still looks very ashy, but in person, it looks really, really good and really, really matte and really, really smooth, like super duper fat. All right, so that is enough. powder we are all good so next what I do is I like to apply a blush so that my face isn't super duper flat this is optional yesterday I used my black radiance blush and toasted almond which you guys know is like my favorite orange tone blush but today I feel like doing um, another color also if I were in a rush like if it were 7 a.m. right now I would just go like this to bam and call it a day but because it's not 7 a.m., which I need to leave basically at 7, I'm going to apply a blush. And I told you guys yesterday I used that one, but today I'm going to use my Beauty Treats Matte Blush Palette. And I'm going to use my favorite color, the one that I've hit pan on. And I like to use a blush that has a little bit of shimmer or sparkle to it because my face is so matte. So it kind of, you know, adds a little bit of color and life back into the skin without doing the most. So I'm just going to use this Coastal Scents Goat Haired Brush that I often use. I'm just going to apply this to my cheeks. And it's a nice deep pink color that has some shimmer to it. So it looks really pretty. I'm just sweeping back and forth. So build up the color. Which I still look super ashy on camera. But I promise once I take these pictures on my way out, like on my Snapchat, you see that I look brown. Everything looks right and tight and matte. And I left my hat at the school today because there's no point in me carrying it back and forth. I'm letting my other coworker, Mr. Holiday, borrow my other hat. I only have three hats for band camp. And um, one is black, so I don't wear that one because it's black and that's going to attract heat to me. The other one is this gray, like bucket, not gray, like green olive bucket hat. But that's what I'm letting him use because it's more masculine. And then I have my like straw looking hat that has a bright neon yellow ribbon around the top part of it. All right, so just build the blush up to the intensity that you desire.
I think that I'm uh, pretty good here. So that's basically the only extra, extra thing that I do is apply a blush. Uh, to me, that's extra for like fam, but I just like to have some color in my face. Now we're going to eyebrows, and for my brows, I don't use two pencils. I use one, and this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Cold Pencil in the shade Pretty and Mink, and it's just a nice, deep, cool-toned brown. And to me, this works really, really great. If I just want to use one color for my brows, this, this one works great. needs to be sharpened a little bit but I don't feel like sharpening it so I just do basically fill them in quite naturally this color is perfect because it is dark enough without being too dark so it gives a more natural look You see how fast this is? And I'm basically just using the short little strokes to just fill fill in the brow a little bit, you know? I feel like this is the perfect color. It's not super dark, but it's still dark enough. And then we gotta do the tail part. Ooh. Those are gonna be a little. Okay, so I think we're basically done with the brows. Just something really quick, really easy. Really fast. And everything on camera is coming out a lot lighter than what it is in person. Like, I look super ashy. Like, ah, I look scary. But I promise I don't look that scary. In real life, I still look scary. Okay, I am happy with these brows. Goes in and draws a few more strokes. I can live with this. All right, so next, what I like to do is wear a little bit of mascara, and I wear waterproof mascara because I'm sweating so much, like it's just like really just drenched in sweat. So I'm gonna wear the L'Oreal Mist. Manga Voluminous Waterproof Hydrofuge Mascara. And like I said, I can do this in 15 minutes. And I just like to focus it only on the top lashes and basically on the ends of my top lashes. Like I'm not looking to have actual truly voluminous lashes. I just want my lashes to be seen and obvious so that I do not get mistaken for a boy because sometimes with my hat on you can't see my hair and then you know yeah I get mistaken for a man quite often actually like when I'm wearing like not a lot of makeup or if you can't see my face like if I'm wearing a hat or you can't see that I have longer hair it happens and especially if I'm not wearing any makeup and when I had my short hair, when I shaved my head and did my big chop number two, I got called sir a couple times. So, 
to bring out my eyelashes. <laughs> I like to put on a little mascara and that kind of helps with the making sure that I stay Miss Ishman and not a Mr. Ishman. Cause it's like so funny. I tell people that and I'm like, well, I never, you look like a woman to me. Like it's obvious, but, um, I'm like, less you know me, like you know me. And nowadays you don't really know. You should definitely ask or like, well, if it's somebody that you're like talking to, trying to pursue, like you might want to ask these questions because you never know nowadays. Cause I have some friends that, um, Sometimes they'll cross dress, they'll dress in drag, and they're gay men, but they'll dress in drag like for special things. I don't I don't know where they're going. Um, I don't go with them, but they'll dress in drag and they look so beautiful, especially one in particular. I'm like, you really look like a woman. Like I would not know. I would have to ask. Like it'd be like I would be shocked if you're like, oh no, I'm a man. I'd be like, But you're so pretty. So yeah, you never know. Just be respectful and subtle, I guess. I don't know. I mean, if it's a stranger, it's like none of your business. But I'm talking about like if you're talking to somebody, like trying to date them, you might want to ask if you're not sure. Like if there's any possible question, just go ahead and just, just ask. I've been in those situations, not with like somebody being... Um, <laughs> transgender or anything like that when dating them but I've been in those situations where I have to ask like so um are you interested in have you ever been interested in men you know just slide it in there like have you ever been with a man just... you have to ask these questions nowadays unfortunately and you might be shocked and surprised at some of the answers Especially if you're going into college. If I have younger viewers, I feel like most people that watch me are, are my age or older. You know, you just have to ask. You know, just don't. Just, just ask, girl. Ask. Alright, so I'm pretty much done with mascara. I just really focus it on the ends of my lashes. So I don't get any on my lid. It's just to make them a little bit more obvious. Like so. And the last thing I do is put on some lip gloss. And then I'm done with my band camp look. It's real simple, real easy, real straightforward. So I'm going to use something moisturizing. And I'm just, I just see this on the top of my thing. And I can't remember if it's moisturizer or not. But this is the shade Peachy Keen. It's from Wet n Wild. And I'm just going to put this on because it looks creamy and moisturizing. Not really moisturizing. Creamy, but not moisturizing. So I'm going to put on some sort of lip gloss with it. Uh, let's use this Black Radiance lip gloss because it's right on the top of my pile. And this is a Black Radiance Perfect Tone lip gloss and I think the shade number one. I don't know. It's rubbed off. I'm just going to add a little bit of this. There we go. I just like to have something that's like kind of glossy so my lips are moisturized and something that sits on top of them to kind of protect them from the sun as well. Well, this is basically my band camp look. And like I said, this ashyness that you're seeing will go away. And it doesn't look ashy in person. I look beautifully brown in person, but on camera it's just like, ah. But yeah, this is my Bandcamp makeup look. I just took forever to make this video, but you know, I enjoy making videos for you guys. Um, that lipstick video, I think I might do that Saturday. I don't have anything to do Saturday. I have Saturday off. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this Bandcamp makeup tutorial. If you work outdoors or you want something that, you know, just makes you look a little bit more made up, I highly suggest this foundation. It is a one. And I highly suggest the Cody Airspun powder, especially if you're a little bit lighter complected. It, it won't take as much to like blend it out and stuff. This stuff works.
Like all the stuff you hear about it, it works. It really does. And it doesn't really make you look cakey. I just look super matte. Like I'm basically casket matte right now, which I'm fine with because I'm going to be sweating real quick. So yeah, again, thank you guys for watching. I need to leave, put on clothes, put on my clothes, and then go print the stuff and then head to the school. So again, thank you for watching, and I really do appreciate your support. Let me know what else you want to see, and I'll try and get that out to you guys. See you in the next video. Bye, YouTube.